All right, guys, another day in the Florida Keys. Myself and Justin, we are gonna launch along our beach. Sorry, I didn't give you a full wave. I know, I mean, the way. On. Give me some camera time here, Lord. <laughs> we were Justin Kayak Catfish. And uh, yeah, this is the beach we're staying at in Lower Matacumba Key. So uh, I got the autopilot rigged up, so I'm gonna pleasurely cruise around. I'm going for barracudas, Barracuda. snappers, and kind of whatever bites if the chunk bait thing comes a motivation for me. Are you going to catch any of them? You're going for them. Are you going to yeah, catch any? Question is, will I catch any of them? I got live shrimp. I've got a cooler full ice. I think Justin's going to our south. I'm going to run to the north. Found some big barracudas in this one area last year, so I'm going to go see if they're there. I'm going to troll this big barracuda tube. Got it on this pen clash, so yeah, that's about the drag I want. We're ready for some real battles here. You don't need too much line out with this thing either, so. Shove it in that rod holder. Such. Let's get pretty close, get a little shallower and take it from there, man. That's just, so last year I brought the autopilot, but the steering collar broke in my like second day out here. So this is so ideal for this kayak, man. Oh my gosh. Standing up, looking at beautiful clear water. Just cruising around, see what you see. Seeing some pinfish out here, actually. I think those are pinfish. Whoa, watch this jetty, guys. Watch that jetty. Is that a barracuda? I think it was. I missed it, though. Oh, God, I missed it. Amazing take. Let's get the heck away from this dock, but that's definitely going to be a good idea. Maybe he's going to follow me. Perfect. Went the other way. Oh, we got to get out of that dock. Big MF right there. Okay. Now that I'm on the flats, I can take my time. Land in this thing. I think I can at least. What a take, man. These fish are so powerful. I think they're really underrated. They got speed. Is gonna do some work today. I think these fight harder than the North Carolina ones, man. The North Carolina ones do tend to fight. But this guy might be fighting harder. Man. This is not white tackle. This thing is big. There he is. Dang, that's a solid one. Might have hooked him. Both those hooks got on him though. Cool man. It's one of my I had both hooks in them in the start of the fight, but it seems like I'm gonna end the fight with just one. Gotcha. Gotcha, pal. We're gonna go nowhere. 
Look at that barracuda right there, man. Smack that too. Awesome. Man, that thing, that thing was so angry with me, I'll tell you that. Perfect, easy release. Yeah, there's beautiful spots on him too. Okay, pal. Usually there's not too many that size in a certain area, so. All right, let's see what else we can do in this little lagoon before we get out of here. Let's go see what my pal Justin's up to. Got one, one bite on that tube. And it was a good one. You know, probably later in the week when I have worse weather, I'll play around all the docks, see what I can catch. But right now, it's a beautiful day. I don't want to really dock fish. Maybe I'll do a little dock fishing, but for the most part, yeah, I'll skip that. Oh, he's on there. Oh my God, did I just hook a tarpon on a barracuda tube? Oh my goodness. I did. Guys, I just hooked a tarpon on a barracuda too. Oh no. And that's like a full size one. That is a very light leader, so I've got light chance on that. Maybe he's gonna come out on the flats if I'm lucky. But we are pretty much doomed. I don't have gloves with me either. Dang, didn't really think about tarpon in these cuda spots. I didn't see many tarpon last year, so I'm kind of surprised I just hooked a tarpon on a barracuda too, gosh. Oh, man. We got no shot at this, but Guess we get a pretty visual of him, right? This one will not end well. What? What are the odds of that happening? That's a big one, man. I don't know how my leader didn't break yet. What are you doing eating my tube, dude? Oh, man. Be a lot more into this if I didn't have that treble hook on there. Yeah. This is where he's gonna get me, I think. Get him up on the flats, man. I could definitely do have a better shot at doing something with him. Oh, man. He's going for it. I'm going to get caught, caught in some structure here. I know it. that kayak to try to power him out. There we go. That's the way to do it. Otherwise, he's going to get me on that. I'm just hoping that hook pulls, man. That's all I want out of him, honestly. I didn't realize I was going to hook into these big tarpon back here. I did not realize any of this. 
what a tourist I am. All right, maybe we can back them out. On the flats, I'll feel a little com more comfortable getting them out there. Like that ledge, I don't think. Oh boy. Ooh, there he goes. Broke me off on the ledge. I don't think I had a chance on that fish, honestly. And I don't have gloves, and he had a trouble hooking him, so. I don't want to be hooking tarpon with the gear. I can't land them. Not just that, uh, lures that have treble hooks in them. Like that's the only thing that was going through my head was 100 pound tarpon with a treble hook in it. It's really scary. Um, and I just didn't even fly that through my brain that I could hook a, a tarpon on a barracuda tube. So now I know. Um, I hooked that barracuda right there before that too. So I'm like, uh, I'm gonna leave them alone just in case there's more tarpon over there. I gotta come back with heavier gear It's like I don't want to just fight those things and then you know, I can't land them. That's stupid But I'm sure that hook should fall out because they've got bone. He was in the hooked in the corner uh, <laughs> It's been a while. I mean I've caught a couple of tarpon but never in that manner That's never happened to me to troll a barracuda tube around and hook a tarpon. So really cool fight really cool fish, but um, I try to ride them up on the flats so I can at least uh, get a better chance, you know, maybe hitting spot lock and hopping out. So this way, I still had that treble hook in his mouth, so I don't know. I know that wouldn't be a safe thing for me to mess with, that's all I know. So, probably safer just to break them off, honestly. That's the safest thing for me and the fish, probably, at that point. So, so on this barracuda tube, I'm going to just crush the barbs on it. Because, uh... Maybe with enough leader I can do it, but that was only 20 pound leader on there. So all I packed in the kayak was 40 pounds. Actually, that's all I brought with me on this trip. So I'm gonna think about what's the best strategy for all of that. Uh, but I don't wanna be putting tubes and tarpons. You know, I feel like that's very unsportsmanlike to, to just go over there, hook another one or two and lose them all, you know. So, I don't know. We'll think, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think about that. Let me know what you think you would do too. Ooh, there's one. And there are a lot of barracuda out here. All right, let's run them down. That's the biggest strategy is to just run these fish down if you hook one. See, oh gosh, it's going right into that dock there. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. That's it. We can get him before he goes in there. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Ah, oh, I got him out. There we go. Now we can fight him more regularly, I hope. I'm guessing this one's a barracuda. I think a tarpon would have leaped on me again. Yeah, I don't know the size. This one looks a little smaller. This is fun, man. Yeah, this is a more average one. Still a good size one. Oh, man. They have such an incredible hit on them, though. I do love that hit. It's epic, dude, epic stuff. My knot got caught up in there, great. This one's pooped already though. All right, 
Yeah, I got you, pal. What you gonna try to do here? My knot's getting stuck there. I got lazy, no FG knot. I went with a um, Guggen knot. Oh, pretty nice one, man. Three footer or so. A little more confident putting a 40 pound leader on there. I guess they're not very line shy. I've seen them in North Carolina get kind of choosy in particular. Maybe these key ones get, uh, don't see as many people as my North Carolina ones sometimes do. But yeah, he is mean. We gotta be careful with his teeth. That's for sure. I like these, I feel like the smaller ones more uh, harder to handle even. The larger one seems to be a little more docile after he was tired. This guy's not quite, he was out of there. I crushed those barbs on that. Didn't seem to affect me losing him or keeping him. Well, that was a good barracuda right there, man. The little ones taste pretty good. But that's awesome. See ya. Man, this autopilot makes a world of a difference when it comes to fighting big fish and structure. World of a difference. You're never truly on vacation, are you? What? We're out cruising these flats, seeing what we see. Definitely seems like the barracudas are closer to the docks. Not seen any barracudas out on these flats. I've seen like one or two sharks. They look like uh, small black tips or something like that. Well, I, guess, well, I guess I just ate my words about not seeing any barracuda. It's gonna wear me out pretty quick today, man. Heading over to some spots where we catch some, some mangroves or something to eat. Yeah, we're on again. Oh, the barracuda, man. These things are really out in numbers today, man. This is great fishing. Still can't believe I hooked a shark on the other one. No, not a shark on the a tarpon on one of these things. Pile weeds, of course. Oh, 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 other way, other way. Got me a cooter. Still be dirty. Smaller ones are actually more dangerous, on in my opinion. The bigger ones are a little easier to handle. the kayak catfish barracuda lesson. <laughs> 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 
two. No, you never seen one, right? This is the first one. Come down here to catch some of these. What's that? It's the Elias come down here wanting to catch some of these. Right. It don't look like a shark to me. I guess it's a okay kind of fish. <laughs> got some teeth on it, for sure. Oh yeah, he'll. He's got. He's got. Straight to. Snackle teeth. Straight to emergency room kind of teeth. I was just saying how I wasn't seeing many uh, tarpon on that tarpon. I'm, that's all that's on my brain after what happened earlier. Um, any of these barracudas on the flats but I ate my words pretty quickly. You when you got him? Yeah, that's not a bad one right there. Nice. Nice. It ain't no shot or whatever. <laughs> this thing jumps, knows how to use structure. Peace, bud. You gone. You gone. Yeah, I crushed the barbs on these this treble. I was too, too nervous what to do with that tarp with two trebles on it. You know, like what was I gonna, how was I even gonna safely deal with it? Yeah. Big shark, big shark. Headed your way. Look like a lemon. He's going right for you. You know, barracudas actually don't taste that bad in my opinion. Um, I think they're better than mackerel, for example. So if I don't, I strike out on snappers, right? For, I'm enjoying my fish tacos nightly. I kept the yellow jack the other day. Excellent eating fish. Um, but not quite as flavorful, but still really good. Um, maybe I'll keep like a mid to, mid to low 20 inch barracuda. It's been years since I've eaten one and I kept a really large one and it was still pretty good. So I'm curious how these smaller, like everyone says the, the mid-sized ones are very good. So um, I guess that'll be, you know, the backup plan in case uh, uh, I kind of strike out on the, um, on the snappers and anything you know in the tasty category so we had a little excitement with the barracudas that was a little bit better than i thought it was going to be um usually i have a hard time getting those barracudas to get real aggressive when it's colder but uh, today they're killing those tubes man and a tarpon in the mix pretty good start so far i've only been fishing for like an hour all right put the barracudas tubes away I'm sure i'll have all month to play with those guys cruising to some docks right now i'm gonna throw some live shrimp on it and maybe a couple lures if you're a long time viewer of the Elias V Fishing Channel. I am based out of North Carolina, so I come down here every year. And last year I did get a Kubera snapper off this one dock I'm headed to. So you never know. See if there's anything there again. All right, try some live shrimp here, see what happens. It is kind of midday, so maybe these fish just aren't in the mood already. Possible. Okay, got myself a little shrimp here. Gonna hook them right in the horn as such. A little heavy on the tackle, but I just don't want to lose a, a grouper or anything like that. Oh, looks like I got a first bite. That's it. Jack Creval, little one. Slightly better one for sure. This one's probably worth the breadcrumbs. It took me a minute to find him though. I'm gonna keep them at around 12s and 13s, honestly. You can every now and then get like an 18 inch or inch short, but for the most part, it's just about a 13 inch mangrove, so that'll keep. These are the size, we're, you're allowed to keep five of these a day. So, a little fun little fly. I'm using kind of heavier tackle because there are grouper and other fish here sometimes. So, bleed them out and get them on ice. Another decent one right there. Oh, 
You know, auto hooking fish with circle hooks can be really hard sometimes, though. Not too bad. Looks like a keeper. It's definitely a keeper, but like I said, I'm going for some bigger ones. Cool to see he ate the blue runner, though. I think he got a lizard fish, guys, or something like that. Shadow wrap. Is it a lizard fish? Follow me all the way from. Uh, oh, I know who that is. That's my, my dude. You know who that is? That's, uh, we got these in North Carolina. It's like sand perch, I think. You know, we catch these offshore, never, not in six feet of water. It's funny the fish that are inshore here that I'm probably mostly find offshore where I live. Oh, could it be? My old friend, did you follow me all the way from Wilmington? Oh, I'm so glad I'm seeing you here. Wonderful, really just wonderful. This right here is what I drove 13 hours for. Our, our, one, of my, one of my arch enemies. All I need is a blue fish to round it all out and a skate. Now that's one of my new arch enemies too. Whack that whack that shadow wrap probably good live bait for something somewhere all right so the setup i use today this is the pen clash 4000 uh this is a jigging world hybrid this is a heavier rod than i normally fish with but you know barracudas do in structure kind of require a little bit of heavier tackle um not seeing much now i got super calm out this is beautiful just awesome awesome booze cruise basically Supposed to get a lot of wind tomorrow. The beginning of, tomorrow is the beginning of wind. That's for sure. So probably tomorrow I'm just gonna fish sunrise and then sunset is what I'm thinking. And if you get a moment, check out today's video sponsor. It's Waterland Co. Sunglasses make an awesome pair of polarized lenses for kayak fishing. Great for this. <laughs> very very good for this. So I'm not seeing anything now. Like. It, as soon as it got kind of flat and real hot. I think it's a lot of this is morning and afternoon fishing when it gets kind of uh, warm and then probably on the cloudier days, midday stuff is the way to go. But yeah, I'm cruising through like two, three feet of water once again. Uh, not quite where I was, uh, not in the tarpon zone, but somewhere else. And yeah, not much doing. It's pretty quiet. So maybe those barracuda go on the docks and sit there. The biggest barracuda was in the, the deeper water, but definitely saw quite a few more, like average little ones, shallow, but not seeing anything now, so. Thank you everybody who watched today. I used the Autopilot 136. Uh, I run this kayak on a Dakota lithium battery. It's a 100 amp hour battery. I did many, many miles today on it, so, um, especially on full speed, which is about three and a half miles an hour. I was able to go four before, but now I seem to be going slower. Maybe it's because I'm carrying more ice and junk in the back, or maybe I got fatter. I don't know. I used to have a little bit more speed with this guy. It seems like now I'm a little bit slower with it. Uh, check the video's description, links to everything we used. All right. Beautiful, look at this beautiful clear water. It's freezing over. Not that too back there, but it's not doing anything. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.